In a small town in Spain, there was a little girl named Aravella. She was an only child and had always wished for a best friend. One day, while walking home from school, she stumbled upon a stray brown fur dog in the park. The dog was small and scruffy, with big light brown eyes that seemed to be saying, Please take me home. Arabella knew she had to help the dog. She took the dog home and begged her parents to let her keep him. After some persuasion, her parents agreed to let her keep the dog, and she named him Max. From that day on, Arabella and Max were inseparable. They did everything together. They went on long walks in the park, played catch in the backyard, and snuggled up on the couch to watch movies. Max was the best friend Arabella had always wanted, and her parents were glad she had found a playmate. As time passed, Max grew older, but he remained loyal to Arabella. Whenever Arabella was sad or scared, Max would nuzzle up against her and lick her face, making her feel better. She loved Max with all her heart and couldn't imagine life without him. One day, Arabella was playing in the park with Max, and her parents were nearby chatting with some friends when she accidentally wandered into a dangerous area of the park. She didn't realize the danger until it was too late. A group of older kids were playing nearby, and they had a pit bull with them. The pit bull was not on a leash, and he suddenly started looking at Arabella and Max. The pit bull ran towards them and began to growl and bark. Arabella immediately froze in terror. Max stood protectively in front of Arabella, growling at the pit bull. The pit bull, in turn, lunged towards Arabella, but Max jumped in front of her, taking the full force of the pit bull's attack. The kids shouted the dog's name and tried interjecting, but the pit bull was clearly out of control. Max fought bravely, but he was no match for the pit bull. Arabella was crying and screaming for help as she watched her best friend being attacked. Suddenly, a group of adults appeared and were able to stop the pit bull. Arabella's parents had been searching for her when they heard the commotion. They arrived just in time to see Max being taken away in an ambulance. They rushed to the hospital with Arabella, hoping that Max would make it. The veterinarians at the hospital did everything they could to save Max, but his injuries were too severe. Arabella and her parents sat by Max's side as he took his last breath. Arabella hugged him as she cried and whispered in his ear, Thank you for being my best friend. I will never forget you. Most people in the town were devastated by Max's death. He had been a beloved member of the community, and everyone knew how much he meant to Arabella. He was buried with a tombstone bearing his name and a crest of his image on it. And most people in the town went there to drop flowers often, as they all admitted Max's bravery and loyalty till the end. Arabella would often visit Max's grave, talking to him as if he was still alive. She missed him terribly, but she knew that Max had died doing what he loved most, and that was protecting his best friend. Years went by, and Arabella grew up, but she never forgot Max and his sacrifice for her. She always had a special place in her heart for dogs, and would often volunteer at the local animal shelter. She knew that Max would have wanted her to help other dogs, just like he had helped her, and she also decided to let go of the hate she felt for that particular pit bull. Arabella never forgot the lessons Max had taught her. She learned about loyalty, bravery, and sacrifice. Max had been more than just a dog. He had been her best friend and had shown her what true love and friendship was all about. In the end, Max's death had taught Arabella that life was precious and that true friends would do anything to protect the people they loved. Max had given Arabella the greatest gift of all, the gift of friendship, and she would cherish that forever. Have you ever had or lost a friend like Max? Would you stand up for your friend as Max had done for Arabella? Let's hear your comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more stories like this.